Welcome to this video module of the Simulation Video Lab series. In this uh, lab, we're going to talk about um, object properties and states, and the difference between the two, and uh, simio processes and add-on processes. Um, and we will be using the same um, subway model that we developed in a previous lab. So as for the objectives of the lab, uh, we're going to extend uh, the model that we have developed in a, in a previous lab by adding bulking and type-based processing time, but this time um, using an alternative approach using add-on processes. So in order to be able to do uh, these extensions, we first need to understand the difference between object states and properties. And uh, we will also introduce um, simio processes and their characteristics, and also learn how to use add-on process uh, triggers or um, state assignments to basically extend or enhance uh, the behavior of uh, different components of our model. So the system that we're going to consider here again is a is a typical subway restaurant where we have five stations. Where in the first station, customers um, order uh, the type of bread and meat and cheese that they want in their sandwich, and then um, the sandwich will go to the oven to to be toasted, and then um, the sa the sandwich and the customer will go to the veggie station where they put. Uh, lettuce, tomatoes, and other types of veggies uh, under sandwich. And finally, they go to the cashier and make the payment. And after that, customers go to the drink machine um, and get the drink, and then they leave the system. So, um, as for the data for this problem, the arrival rate is 32 customers per hour. And service times are all triangularly distributed with uh, the parameters that you can see here. So I'm not going to go um, over the parameters here because we have talked about this model before. And 70% um, of the customers want their sandwich toasted and 30% will get cold sandwiches. However, the current policy uh, requires that we maintain FIFO um, throughout the system. In other words, Customers that get cold sandwiches still need to wait in the queue um, at the oven station for those customers that are waiting for their sandwich to be toasted. So passing is not allowed in the current operating policy. So, so far everything is the same as the previous module, except for the fact that this time we would like to add uh, bulking to our model. So bulking is basically when you go to a restaurant and you see that there is a long line and you decide to go somewhere else. So basically in this model we're going to assume that customers bulk if there are six people in the system. As for the performance measures, uh, we would like to evaluate the performance of the system during lunch rush, so we would like to do a steady state analysis. And uh, specifically, we're interested in server utilizations, average time and system for all customers, and expected number and system. However, we're also interested in the percentage of customers that bulk, and the average time and system per customer type. Uh, in other words, uh, customers that get cold sandwiches, and customers that want their sandwich toasted. Now, before we go ahead and uh, actually extend our model, we need to first understand some basic concepts and definitions uh, regarding Simio. And specifically, uh, I would like to talk about uh, object states and properties, and then we'll talk about atom processes and uh, Simio processes. So, um, an object state is basically a value that is associated with the uh, object's run space. And um, states or state variables, uh, they can, or generally, they do change over the simulation run. So during the simulation, the value of these uh, object states um, change. 
So some of the examples are uh, model entity priority. So the priority of your uh, model entity can change as the as the entity is processed uh, through the system, or uh, model entity dot picture or the picture or symbol of your model entity, which can change um, at different stages uh, in your model. Um, and an another example of a state variable is the number of entities in the in a in the queue of a server. So, for example, if we have a server called server one, then uh, the the state variable that contains or it records the number in uh, queue for this server is uh, basically has oops has uh, this expression that you can see here so server one dot input buffer dot contents dot number waiting basically um, this is the uh, state variable that stores the number in queue for for server one and as you as you can imagine this value will change as you process entities um, throughout your uh, simulation run. Object properties, on the other hand, they um, there are also values associated with the object instance or instances. However, uh, they do not change during the simulation run. So uh, most of the times, object properties are set at the beginning of uh, the simulation run and they cannot change. They they won't change as the system uh, changes or as the simulation uh, time evolves. Examples of these uh, object properties are model entity um, initial priority um, which is set at the beginning of the run. So as you can see, the initial property of, of the model entity, is, in, excuse me, initial priority of the model entity is is a property. It cannot change. However, uh, the state variable, which is model entity dot priority, can change during the simulation run. Also, uh, initial capacity of a server is another example of object properties. So if I go to uh, Simio, when you click on your, for example, server object, you will see its properties uh, on the right-hand side in the properties uh, tab here. So uh, the type of capacity, initial capacity of the server ranking rule, these are all uh, properties of a server. If you, for example, go to model entity and then definitions, you will be able to see uh, different states or state variables associated with your model entity. So, for example, you can see a picture um, here, which is basically the symbol of your model entity, which is a state variable. Um, and if you actually click on the properties tab here, you will see all the properties associated with your model entity. Um, properties and states are not exclusive to objects. Your model also has uh, states and uh, properties. So if you click on the model, you can actually see the states uh, of your model um, and also properties associated with your model. Uh, the other important concept that we need to understand or at least know how, they, how it works is simio processes. So in general, a process is a set of actions that um, happen over time during the simulation run and they can change the state of the system or in other words they can change one or more state variables that you use to define the state of your system. So um, simio processes uh, have several characteristics. Uh, each uh, process has a triggering event associated with it. So this is an event that makes uh, that basically executes the process. Uh, tokens execute the process and each process has uh, one or more steps in it which are basically uh, the actions that uh, take place. So um, one thing that we need to know is that all Simio objects that you see in the in the standard library are built using Simio processes. So uh, for example if I go to my single server queuing model and if I click on the server object and subclass, um, 
and go to so you can see I have my my server um, object here and I can go to the processes and here you can see all the processes that define the behavior of your server object so these are all the logic behind uh, how your server object works um, and in fact if you uh, let me go ahead and talk about one of these so for example this one that you can see here is the unentered input buffer uh, process and this is this process is triggered when the input buffer uh, or when an entity enters the input buffer so you can see input buffer dot entered so whenever an entity enters the input buffer of a server you can see all the different steps that are basically executed when uh, this event happens so uh, these are built-in processes in Simio. So all of the objects in uh, in your in your standard library have uh, basically a lot of uh, processes uh, that are used to to define their behaviors. Now, add-on processes or user-defined processes. Uh, are used to modify or extend the functionality or behavior of your objects. So for example, uh, I can go to my uh, model and I can click on my server object and go to add-on process triggers and now I can uh, modify the behavior of my server in, s in different ways. So for example, if I want to add a logic uh, to how my server behaves when an entity enters the server object, I can simply double click on this um, entered add on process trigger. And uh, as you can see, Simio automatically creates an add on process. And I can go ahead and use uh, and add steps to my add on process. So, for example, let's say I want to make a decision when an entity enters the server object and then make an assignment and basically change the uh, change one or more uh, state variables. As you can see, there are different steps that uh, we can use in add on process. So, these are the common steps. And in, in fact, if you click on the all steps, you can see all different steps that. Uh, we can use uh, to to modify or define uh, to modify the behavior of our objects or define an add-on process. So, um, as you can see, this this add-on process is run when an entity uh, enters the server. So, basically, what we're doing here is that if I go back to my server object uh, and if you look closely, you will see that one of these steps is basically execute um, add-on process um, entered or entered add-on process. So basically what we did, the logic that we just defined in our add-on process will be added um, here in, 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 in the logic for my server object. So basically that's how an add-on process uh, modifies or extends the behavior of your, of your server object. So now that we are familiar with uh, Simio processes and um, add-on processes, model states, object states, and uh, also properties, we can go ahead and um, start uh, modifying our um, original subway model. And uh, I almost forgot to mention that there is a video module on Simio processes and add-on processes developed by Dr. Jeffrey Smith. Um, so we can see the link to this video module here. And um, if, so if you would like to know more about Simio processing and add-on processes and how they work, you can also refer to, um, to, to this video module.